It's not going to be an adventure vlog or an artsy vlog today. I'm just going to look at some... Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. It is so cold here in Unica Springs. I am wearing three pairs of pants, like two sweatshirts, my beanie. I'm in the house and I'm frozen. And wow, what a day it has been. I think I told you guys that Cassie Lee and I had some changes on the horizon and things got real today and it was just an emotionally kind of draining long day. I'm not going to really get into it, but it is 3 o'clock in the morning here in Unica Springs, Tennessee and I thought for this day in the life what I would share with you guys is some of the buttons I've been trying to clean up and I wanted to talk today in particular about railroad buttons and railway buttons, electric railway buttons and that sort of thing. And I've got a bunch of buttons laid out here. This is just a portion of the railway buttons that came from the big button trip. Um, but these are some that I've gotten cleaned up and I think I have identified most of these. And I'm just going to kind of go through the list and show you each of these buttons and really this I wanted to do this vlog sort of as a way to document these buttons I don't know if there's any of these buttons out there that other people have in collections maybe these are one of a kind I don't know but I thought it would be good to show you guys the buttons and to get them documented out there for anybody else who might be interested so with that said, we're going to roll through rather quickly. I'm just going to kind of tell you the names of each of these railways and when they operated. And maybe that will give you the inspiration to go out and research these railways a little more. That's what I'm hoping to do with all these videos. These short little videos where I go out exploring and I just tell you a little bit about a site. I'm hoping that maybe you might explore you might investigate and you might want to find out some information for yourself have your own adventure so with that said let's get into these buttons there's a bunch of them and it's three in the morning so let's go okay this first button we're going to look at is a union railways company button they operated out of the bronx and they started operating in 1892 I really like this button because it has the picture of the little electric streetcar on there and it gives you a good imagery of what was going on at that time. The next button is a Boston Elevated Railway Company button and they operated starting in 1887 and on November 7th, 1916 there was a big tragic accident with them car number 393 fell through a drawbridge and it killed 46 people so I think there's a lot of histories hidden in these railways and electric cars personal histories and city histories that maybe are completely lost now and people don't even think about nobody in Boston I would say thinks about the Boston elevated railway anymore so it's kind of neat to have a little piece of that history this button is a TMER&L company, which is the Milwaukee Electric Railway and Light Company. They began operating in 1896. That's a pretty neat button. I found two of those, actually. And here, of course, we have a Chattanooga Railways Company button. I really love this button. Not only is it from Tennessee, but I have kind of some personal connections down in Chattanooga with the Chattanooga Bakery and Moon Pies. Love that button. This button is a CNER button, which is a Central New England Railways 
This one's kind of neat because they only operated from 1899 to 1927. And then they actually became the New York, New Haven, and Hartford Company, which this is their button. And I believe I sent one of these buttons out to the contest winner. So that, that railway began in 1927 after uh, merging from the Central New England Railway. So pretty neat connections there. This next button is a B and A button, and I'm not exactly sure if this is the Boston and Alban, Albany Railroad or the Baltimore and Annapolis Railroad. So I don't really know. It just says B and A. And there's two different railroads which that could be, so it's kind of a toss-up on that one. This one, the SR Company, or SR Co., I believe this to be the Southern Railway Company, which, if it is, they began in 1894 and ran up to 1990 and were one of the largest railroad companies in the South. And I believe that's what that is, although I'm not exactly positive. This button's kind of neat in that it's just, it's a decorative button in a way to me. It's a really pretty button. It says P, C, C, and St. L, R, Y, or the Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Chicago, and St. Louis Railway. So this one, this railroad covered a lot of ground, and no telling how many miles this button went up and down those tracks. I really like that one. This is a Cincinnati Railway Company button, and I like this button a lot because my folks live relatively close to Cincinnati, and I spent a lot of time in Cincinnati. Um, that company operated from 1859 up till 1952, and also there in Cincinnati, they have the inverted plane railways where they have the railroad cars that pull up to a hill they lock onto a track and then the track goes up the side of the hill like this. It's a really neat thing. They have some exhibits there in Cincinnati that I've visited where they show those rail cars. Really amazing. If you ever have the chance, you should check it out. I believe it's the Science and Natural History Museum there in Cincinnati. Amazing place. I took my daughter there a lot when she was a young kid. This is another button I'm not too sure about. It says the NY and Q Company Railway Company. It's kind of redundant, but that's what it says. NY and Q Company Railway Company. I thought it might have been New York and Quebec. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that one some more. This big PRR button is a Pennsylvania Railroad, and they began operating in 1846. And I actually found two of these buttons. This one's the rougher one, although when I had that big button spill last week, I spilled like 500 buttons. It, the other one's mixed up in there somewhere with a bunch of other railroad buttons. I have a couple of these P and R uh, buttons that I found, and PR buttons. And I believe those to be Philadelphia and Reading Railroad buttons, which if they are, that's one of the oldest railroads in the country. Uh, they began operating, I believe, in 1833. So I think that's what those are. I really uh, am hoping that that's what they are because I have a couple of those buttons and I just think those are really neat. This is a Philadelphia Rapid Transit Company button. And they began operating in 1902 and operated up until 1934. Neat little cuff button, kind of tiny button. This is a, another one of the buttons is one of my favorites from the button mine. And it is a tiny little cuff button for the Memphis Street Railway Company. And of course I love that because it's a Tennessee button and also because it has an electric rail car there. And again we get that imagery of what the time and the place was like there in Memphis at the time that somebody was wearing this button. Who knows if it was a conductor or a motorman or who it was on this car, but really neat piece of history. Here's a Chicago Railway Company. Um, Chicago Railway operated from 1882 until 1947. Neat, another little cuff button. like that one a lot. This is another button that I'm not too sure about. It says PGH... RYS Company. So I imagine that's PGH Railways Company. 
not exactly sure. Maybe Pittsburgh Railway? I don't know on this one. It's a tiny cuff button. There's one more button I found in here. It's not really a button. It has like a stud on the back of it. And I'm not exactly sure what it is. And I thought maybe you guys might have an idea. I don't know. It says one of 1,000. I don't know. Any guys have any idea on that? A couple other railway buttons I just want to show you real quick are some of the actual workers buttons who worked on the railway. And these are some of my favorites because it just gives me an image of what they were doing. Um, the first one I'll show you is a motorman button. And uh, the motorman was the operator on an electric rail car. He was the guy who actually started and stopped the rail car and did all the mechanical operating of the car. So he was in charge of running the beast. And then there's a Pullman button, which this could be Pullman Railroad, but I suspect that this was a Pullman Porter's button. And they were people who were responsible for people on sleeper cars on railroads and that sort of thing. And they would basically help the guests out on the train. I believe that's what that's from. And the last button here is a conductor button. And I really like the uh, conductor button and just the thought of the conductor. He was responsible for all the other operations of the train besides the actual physical up and down the tracks of the train. He was the guy who got the guests off and on, collected the tickets, uh, checked all the fluids, connected or disconnected car, uh, other cars or cables. So a really neat button there, conductor's button, one of my favorites from the bunch. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed a little look at some railroad buttons. I hope that I made it through this video without rambling too much and that you have had a great day in your life. It's been a crazy day in my life, but those kind of days happen sometimes. It's an exciting time of change coming up and I'm just trying to embrace that and yeah it's just another day in the life hope you've had a great one I'll see you again tomorrow